Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we are going to be discussing my thoughts and first impressions on the new Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Collection, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here, and let's get started. Okay, the Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Collection. I picked up the sponge, the concealer, and the loose powder. If you are interested in anything else that's on my face, that'll all be linked down below. Some of those links are affiliate links. If you want to help support my channel, I truly appreciate it. And yeah, so the sponge. I used the sponge first. You'll see it first dry and then wet. I did use it today on my foundation and my concealer. I haven't really been using sponges a lot. <laughs> Actually, I pretty much cut out sponges in my routine. I much prefer brushes because I want more of a full coverage for my concealer foundation and I find that brushes tend to have a little bit more full coverage. So I will use a brush and then a sponge but not usually just a straight sponge like I did today. But I did use this straight sponge <laughs> today. Um, and I mean, you'll see it dry and then wet. And it did grow a lot <laughs> once I got it wet. Um, it's very nice. It's a really, really nice sponge. It does retail for $15, so it's a little bit more expensive. But as far as sponges go, I mean, it was really nice and comfortable to put on the face. It blended everything really well. Um, very typical sponge shape, you know, nothing too exciting or extreme. It's got a rounded bottom that I use for foundation and then a tip that I use for uh, concealer. And yeah, it's really nice. The color is very pretty. Um, I wouldn't say run out and go buy one. <laughs> you don't need it, need it. Um, but it is a nice sponge if you're looking for one and it does go really well color wise with the collection. So <laughs> yeah, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> the concealer, Dominique Cosmetics concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Almond Milk. It's really awesome that it has a metal applicator. Super cool. I think I love how it's a little bit different and I did really like the metal applicator when I used it today um but <laughs> uh the shade almond milk was the second from the lightest shade i believe the lightest shade usually has a pink undertone and then this one was right next to it with a neutral undertone but i was pretty surprised when i picked it up because almond milk is a lot darker than what i thought it was gonna be it's a lot darker than um the swatch on the website that's for sure at least in my opinion um let me know if you've had a different experience and if your shade you know matches <laughs> but um i was expecting it to be a lot lighter this is my lancome all over concealer in what shade is this oh 90 um i believe this is the second to the lightest shade in their concealer and that's a little bit more what i was expecting <laughs> um from Dominique Cosmetics. So this is the, whoop, this is the <laughs> um, Dominique Cosmetics Almond Milk. And then this is the Lancome um, Concealer in 090, which is like um, ivory neutral, I think. <laughs> so yeah, just, I was a little bit surprised about this shade when I initially opened it. Um, the formula, however, absolutely beautiful blended out so great super easy to blend i did use the sponge <laughs> and um yeah i love the application it looked pretty i feel like the metal applicator actually makes for a smoother application because it it just looks so smooth and beautiful i don't think it settled into anything it's still looking great i mean yeah i really I'm impressed with the formula and I think that it will, um, other than the shade being a little wonky and not super close to the picture on the website, I think the formula is great and I love the metal applicator. Really, really awesome. This does retail for $26 if I didn't mention that and you get four mils of product. So, so far, so good. Really cute packaging on 
brand. I love it. Just the shade was a little bit eh. <laughs> Um, And the powder I picked up. This is the translucent setting powder. Um, she came out with two shades. I don't know what the other one is called. Um, but this is the translucent one. And let me see if you can get my face. Um, this powder surprised me. <laughs> um, it's super, super soft. Like, it feels really, really soft. I absolutely loved setting my under eyes with it. And I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of loose powder because I definitely, um, tend to make a mess with it. <laughs> Actually, I did when I opened it. Um, so they're not the fastest, but I mean, for days when I sit down and when I film, like, dang, <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. So smoothing under the eyes. I am very impressed with it. It is, however, $22 and you only get eight grams of product. I was pretty surprised at how small it is. You know, um, you see the pictures online and they just seem a little <laughs> deceiving, I guess. Let me show you why I was surprised. This is the one size powder. And this is, I mean, this is, I don't know. I feel like this was typical. Where's my other loose powders? Like, this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics powder, you know, like, these are, these are pretty good size containers for loose powders. Um, and then <laughs> there's this teeny little uh, <laughs> Dominique Cosmetics translucent powder. So, it is a lot smaller in size. When I opened it, I was a little surprised, like, whoa, it's tiny. But, I mean, price-wise, um... You get, you pay a little bit more for the one size, but you get a lot more product. So, um, and I, this does feel a lot smoother than the one size. So, it might be a little bit better formula. So, you're paying a little bit more for the product, but the formula is a little bit better. I definitely prefer this loose powder over this. So, I mean, <laughs> you pick, you pick what you like. <laughs> But this powder does retail for $22 and you get eight grams of product. Well, with the one size, it's $30 and you get 34.5 grams. So, you know, like I said, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I love the product. I was just a little surprised at um, how tiny the component was, how tiny the container was. Okay, those are all my thoughts on the Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Collection. I'm loving Dominique Cosmetics right now. They're coming out with some really awesome stuff. I love the thought and the preparation and just the, the feeling you can, you can tell was put into these products. Um, yeah, I love it. I am super impressed. I hope that this video helped you out a little bit, maybe with the swatch comparisons and my thoughts. <laughs> And yeah, let me know down in the comments. Have you tried these products out? What do you think about Dominique Cosmetics? Um, all the things. <laughs> and yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. And, uh... The innovativeness and the differentness, um, more, you know, wow, I can't even talk. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Fifth time is the charm. Fifth time is the charm. Okay. Yeah. And the powder's really nice. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Wrap it up.